This is Ozark's Fox AM. Good morning. It's Tuesday. It sure is. It sure enough is. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And I'm Kelly Smith. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're so glad that you're tuning in. Yes, we are. I feel like, I'll be honest, I feel like I'm dragging a little bit today. You do? I do. Okay, well, let me be honest. I feel darn good today so oh, far. Well. Because um, I was so tired yesterday. I laid down for about a 30-minute nap oh. before I got my sleep last night. Hey, Jeremy, I'll yeah. share this with you. What? Here's a little, um, here's what a little, um, Mental clarity me. right there. Is that an essential oil? Yeah. Okay. So you just smell that and maybe that'll help you. Have you seen those Facebook memes that's funny about like all the problems of the world and you see a woman go, I've got an essential oil for that. <laughs> yeah. and then I've got an oil for that. Hey, I've got an essential oil for everything. And some people think it's crazy, but uh, these different, different brands you can buy, but I've got one for everything. I'm sniffing until I feel better, Kelly. Yeah, there's one called... Uh, love there's one called forgiveness there's all kinds I of stuff I need one called patience <laughs> <laughs> hey and they always say don't pray for patience because then you'll get a bunch of hard times because you have to learn patience you can't just get it you know what I'm saying it is yeah. so true it's true so don't ever pray for that but you know what makes me think of what? uh patience and I'm not even kidding you yes it ties into the video we're going to show oh, but good, it, good. It, it was an accident is I also realized how patient cats are Cats really? are extremely patient. They like, are. They could sit there for an hour watching a bug ready to pounce and not pounce until until the time's until right. the time's right. right. Like cats are like, and my cat Fergie will sit there by the door wanting to go outside and just sit there, and just sit there. Then eventually Fergie would be like, meow, meow. But but they're not. But they're just like they're just like they're just chill. Well, you know what? That's their life. What that's, else they got to do? Right. I'm just saying. Right. Maybe that's why people people have a hard time being patient because there's so much that we have to get done. Right. Well, speaking of cats, we do have a viewer yes. viewer video of the day. It was sent to me um, by Teresa. I don't remember her last name. Could you roll the prompter up a little bit? I put her name in there. It's down below that. There we go. Teresa. Tartanar, I'll yeah. get that clicky thing in a minute. Yeah. Uh, viewer video of the day from Teresa Tartanar. I hope yes. I said that right. Take yeah. a look at this, Kelly. Okay. Okay, look, she's grooming. White, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. She keeps accidentally kicking herself in the face. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up. Don't do it. Doing? That is hilarious. And the owner's like, what is going on? <laughs> Look, is that, that not is adorable? So cute. I don't think I've ever seen my cats do that. I I don't know that I've ever seen it's that. It's just so adorable. <laughs> it's just like I'm gonna. That's keep hilarious. <laughs> that is. I think so seriously. cute. So cute. Don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah. Yes, my cats love to groom themselves, but yeah. I've never seen them have Somebody the... kick themselves in the face, and it, they just kept doing it. It just kept doing kept it. Kept doing it. By the way, if you have adorable videos of your own yeah, pets, or just videos you find, send them to us, because we love having the viewer video of the day. Yeah, we... They're few and far between, but we love them. Yeah, yeah, they are few and far between. If you, you know, you go online, you can you can get those montages of yes. videos, but it's hard to find the little separate ones like that. That's so cute. Yes, and That's also, so if cute. you could please say a prayer for my cat, Dolly. Oh, okay. I posted about it last night, but Miss Dolly... So three years ago yesterday, mm -hmm. Lyra found Dolly. Oh, three years ago yesterday. Three years ago okay. yesterday, my friend Lyra found Dolly in her backyard. Mm -hmm. She had an extensively severe broken leg. I don't like remember that. Like it was in that. two pieces <gasps> Ooh. and covered in fleas. And it was just a little baby who'd been abandoned by her mom oh. probably. <clears throat> so of course me, I'm like, I'll take Dolly. Yeah. Took Dolly. But then yesterday, I was petting her and found a, a big lump on her side. Ooh. And when I touch this lump, she is not happy about not it. Not happy about that. So I'm taking her to the vet. But you uh, say she gets out and explores a lot. Maybe yes. maybe she ran into something or... That's my hope is that she just got <clears throat> a little, maybe it's an injury that's healing. Yeah. But when I felt it, it was like a big... Like, Did it feel like, like uh, fluidy or... No, it felt like oblong. Oh. And kind of down by her front right leg. Okay. Anyway... You're taking her to the vet. Yes, You're find taking out her. What's going on? So yeah. good vibes so, for Dolly. So good vibes for Dolly. Absolutely. I thought it was so strange that I found it yesterday on the third anniversary of even it is. finding so she, her. Yeah. So she's a little over three years old. Yes, just yeah. like three years and a couple weeks. Because I don't know how old she was when. Yeah, when you got her. Lyra when you found get her. like that, you don't know. <clears throat> so good vibes for Dolly. We hope that that she's going to be okay. I, I have a good feeling. I had to give her some um, sedative this mm -hmm. morning because it's very hard to take cats to the vet. Yeah. They do not want to get in their carrier. They do not like the vet. No. So I had to go to the vet yesterday and get some uh, kitty sedatives to help calm her down. Yeah. 
I've, and I've often thought about that. You know, you love animals. <clears throat> you go into being a veterinarian or, or a tech to, because you love animals. But my goodness, sometimes they're nervous to go in there. And I was thinking, I would be a little bit nervous dealing with animals that I didn't know. Right. And my vet, I love her so much, Dr. Woodrell. She, every time I take a dog in or, or something for something and it's good news, she goes, I'm just so happy I can oh, give you good news. She goes, because good. vets see the worst oh, every single day. I know, and they I have know. to tell people bad news. And she's yeah. always like, I'm just so glad I can give you good news. I know. She's relieved too. And that's you good know? too, of course. She's a good so, vet. Yes. Absolutely. Well, all right. All right. So Anyhow. let's switch gears. Yes, but thanks switch for it. that video. That was funny. That was a great way to start out the day.